Hi guys. So I was asked last night, I was given a meditation uh, for the dark of the moon in the period leading up to a new moon. As the moon wanes and slowly becomes invisible because the light is, her light is being blocked by the sun. We, they come together then to give birth to a new this time I feel like it's we're shifting paradigms, okay, because of we'll have six planets in retrograde over eclipses and the eclipses and we always enter a new paradigm. And this one is um, extreme, you know, with extreme emotions coming up for all of us uh, with the eclipse, the new moon, solar eclipse being in Cancer. So I was given this meditation last night and uh, it's starting to thunder, so I thought I better get that up. Um, I'm going to focus the camera on the flowers as we do this very powerful meditation. So it would be good if you could be someplace where um, there's you're alone and maybe it's not so bright so that you're able to just focus on the words and the pictures in your mind. So um, if you're not in a place where you are alone, then probably move there. And um, I'm going to move the camera off of me and onto the flowers because the violet ray and these colors have been coming up for me. I made some posts on Facebook uh, in reference to the colors that we're going to be using for the meditation. So I'm going to turn the camera there as I read the meditation that I was given last night before I went to sleep. So, okay, everybody, I'm just going to turn the camera. And go ahead and sit or stand, however, whichever way you're most comfortable. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, a long deep breath through the nose, inhaling down into your root chakra. As you exhale, see the roots growing from your earth star through the black rich dirt and down into the core of Mother Gaia. See the energy of the violet ray coming back up through the roots, changing the roots into the color violet. Watch it flow into your earth star, spiraling up your legs, through the hips, and into the root chakra. Watch it flow up filling your sacral chakra, releasing pain held there, and allowing creativity to flow in. Then it weaves up into your solar plexus, and you feel the energy as heat, beginning in your navel, and filling your core. See it seep as clouds into your heart chakra. And as it fills, feel your heart expand out, accepting the love flowing to you from your ancestors. Then watch it move, strengthened by your own love into your throat. As it fills the throat chakra, feel the cuffs around your neck dissolve. Dissolving away as you release all of the words you were denied speaking, the times you were unheard and ignored. Feel forgiveness washing that all away within the violet ray. See the energy spinning as a vortex as it fills your pineal gland and shoots from that center into your ears, 
your third eye, and your physical eyes. Feel the muscles behind your eyes begin to strengthen and your eyes sharpen. And see Eagle Spirit in your mind's eye telling you that he is helping you to see the highest truth of your particular situation and whatever it is that you have been questioning. As he moves away, see the large snowy owl filling your vision, imparting into your pineal gland the wisdom of Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warriors. As you draw your attention to your crown, filled with the violet ray, notice that around your crown and seemingly all of your energy there is a glass tube. As the violet ray begins to dissipate, looking up into the tube, see a bri brilliant white light streaming in through that tube. Feel the light of love pulling you up into that light. It feels what a baby must feel like at night when a loving parent gives them their last feeding and lays them down for a nice, restful, peaceful sleep. You allow yourself to flow into the energy of the light. And as you become one with the light, it is becoming one with you engulfing your energy and you finally have the feeling that you are at home, that you are safe and that you belong. Now witness that pearly white iridescent light encircling you, encapsulating you, dissolving away anything in your energy that is unnecessary and unwanted, witnessing ties and cords and ropes and chains being dissolved by the light and the soul fragments that you have sent out that have stolen your energy and any energy of disharmony within your space flows away from you as your soul fragments flow back into you, witnessing them settling into your solar plexus, going down then into the root chakra, watching it flow into Mother Earth. Take a nice long deep breath again in through the nose and out through the mouth. Notice that your wrists are looser, your ankles are looser. And having let all of that go from your energy, anything of disharmony, recognizing that you feel now what it means to be free, to express yourself freely And without care is what Metatron is saying. And then come back up into your heart space. And Metatron will zip up your energy. Okay, everybody. So I'm really I was really excited to share that with you after they gave it to me last night. And this video is short because I need to get it up. Um, online as soon as possible so it's just a lot faster to do it this way i know it'll look funny on screen but that's all right okay everybody i hope that you are having a beautiful dark of the moon period this is a very uh cleansing energy that we have now uh for myself i woke up yesterday morning in a state 
and I knew that I was that something was big was coming up so I spoke with a friend later in the day and um, it was actually an ancestral well it was me but it was an ancestral healing uh, related to the pogroms so um, pretty interesting that it happened to come up but yeah there's going to be a lot of ancestral things coming up for you and uh, you know just sit with it and allow it to release and the way to do that is to forgive it and to just allow it to go free so that there's nothing blocking us moving forward all right everybody i am sending you so much love and um i was asked about appointments my website all of the information to book appointments is in the description box below and if you'd like to join facebook uh the page or the group that information is there as well i share a lot of posts there when i have time and i've been sharing a lot lately um, while I've been on a break from sessions so and I have my schedule worked out in such a way now uh, they've asked me to devote more time to writing and to channeling I'll be channeling the council coming up shortly during the eclipse season and some something that Ashtar would like me to share also Buddha has been with me lately and um, Athena came to me as the giant white snowy owl a couple of months ago as I was falling asleep there was a giant white snowy owl waiting at my window which is a portal um, to take me uh, for some some schooling <laughs> so and also I shared in the Facebook group the UFO that appeared on uh, the 6th of June on 6-6 six, six, uh, just for me apparently because I when I was when I was recording it with my phone I looked at it for the longest time and I kept like you know it's kind of hard for your brain to wrap itself around I'm not sharing that on YouTube I can tell you that right now I shared it only in the group because the group is smaller than the page so um, I'm chicken what can I tell you <laughs> So if you really want to see it, it's on um, the Facebook, it's in the Facebook group and it's legit. It's legit. It was me. Um, I didn't feel scared at all when I saw it. I, I think I even said in the video, I can tell those are good guys. <laughs> so yeah. Um, anyway, everybody uh, have a wonderful new moon and um, blessings and so much love to all of you. I hope this was a help to you. Alrighty. Bye-bye.